Wait a minute, man. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Road to 800. Today we are uh, doing uh, my second test day of my training split. And we're going to start out with incline. Also, I'm going to throw in some push-ups. And we're going to do some uh, Emax bar stuff. So uh, just follow along with me. I'll be uh, talking this segment uh, a lot more than what I'm usually uh, talking. So... Um, very this my year and what you hear can help reshape your life lend your ear i promise i won't say that twice if you want it i guess you gotta pay that price get good people around you and keep them tight yep that's right I keep it my meats um i like to incorporate or we like to incorporate uh and that is jailhouse strong push-ups into my training split so um for those of you who don't do push-ups. Push-ups for me, I feel, is a staple to me um, having a, a strong bench. I believe over the past two years, by us incorporating push-ups into my program, that uh, it's helped me not only build a foundation, but also um, be very explosive off my chest. I do push-ups a lot differently than most people. Um, I like to focus on the bottom portion. So the first um, four to six inches off the ground, returning back as fast as possible, and just really working on the explosive part. Then I'll finish up with a full uh, full range of motion push-ups. So I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Put it in the universe and ignite it. Now you can't fight it. You try to deny it. Come on, man, try it. Do it. Apply it. I promise you'll soar. I'm feeling like a pilot, yo. Just last week, I shot my first pilot, and now I'm feeling grateful. <laughs> That's it, man. I can't give you nothing after that, man, because I'm truly grateful for life, man. You can think me like the first piece of Always gonna win, cause we built the line. Sleeping on us while we out of the moonshine. You can think me later. You miss this elevator. I'm glad you were a hater. Turn me into something greater. And I'm feeling grateful. Turn me Evan's hair all over my wrist straps and everything. Why do I have her hair on my wrist straps?
I like to do is work up to a higher intensity uh, for the top set, and then we'll drop down to a lower intensity and get more volume in. Um, so, I mean, it's crazy because half, pretty much half of what I did is, is 300 pounds. So we're at 315, we're gonna do two sets of 20 to finish out on incline. Then we'll go over to the band bell bar, get some uh, stabilization work, then we'll go into accessories. shoulders, front delts, and triceps, uh, which I know I'm working my upper chest also, but those are the spots where I'm really feeling it right now. I just told my 11-year-old daughter here, no boyfriends. Go ahead, show her. No boyfriends. You know why? Because boys her age don't have jobs. They can't pay the bills. Because they're immature. And I ain't playing that. I'm not playing that at all. Yeah, I'm just saying it. You know what it is. She knows what it is. You know what I mean? Hey, right, can you have had for like uh, homecoming or Sadie Hawkins or something like that to meet me and my crew? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be in for a surprise. That would be scary. Yeah, it's, it's going down. I mean, it's only a few years away. You think this is a game? <laughs> All right, let's get it. <laughs> Going, we're gonna go into uh, accessory work. 
Um, I'm gonna target the triceps. I'm gonna hit a back variation and I'm gonna hit a chest variation. And I do this every time I get done doing uh, the main movement, which was uh, incline and we did a little bit of bench press with uh, the Emax bar. Um, I like to go in and, and really um, pound out uh, three work with those three that I just mentioned. And uh, like I've mentioned in, in, in the videos before, uh, I'm really big on focusing on back. So doing pulling movements. So pretty much I do just about two pulling variations every single time I hit the gym. Big back, big bench, help me to be more stable. I think that's why I'm so explosive. Uh, big lats, uh, rear delts, everything coming together and running perfectly. It is what it is. So. Takeaways from this uh, training session. Uh, one is, you know, during the holidays, we tend to fall off track, get off routine. Uh, you have to push yourself getting into the gym and make sure you're staying on track. Uh, today, I did not feel like going to the gym. As you've seen that, you know, I pushed myself to get here, got some great work today, uh, hit a PR. Um, and, you know, it's usually on days like this. So push yourself, get in the gym, no excuses. Uh, also, make sure you guys are incorporating um, volume, like high volume in your accessory work. I'm talking uh, rep scheme, four to six reps. I mean, rep, rep scheme, 12 to 16 reps. Set scheme, four to six uh, sets. Uh, targeting, um, you know, the muscle groups needed that's, that support your main movement. So like for an example today, um, we did incline bench, then I went into um, tricep extensions, went into a chest variation, and ultimately a back variation. So that is why I'm so successful at what I do. 
Um, and I'm, I, it's not like I'm, there's some secret. I'm just doing the same things over and over again and just keep building on top of that. So guys, yes, it is a science to an extent, but for the most part, if you show up, do the work and, and, and really focus on doing the work, not just doing the work just to get it over with. I mean, with the mindset of I'm going to get in there, I'm building because the next time I hit the platform, I'm going to smoke something out. You got to quit having this lackadaisical attitude that you're going to come into the gym and you're going to try to get the workout done just so you can get out. That's not how this goes. You're not going to be, you're not going to be, um, you're not going to find the best version of you if you're just going in with that mindset. So 2020, let's kick it up a notch, guys. Uh, you're better than that. You put in all the work. Guys, so don't don't let don't let those don't let that stuff uh, go down the drain, man. Like again, you're the one that that that, that makes it to the gym when when um, you, you know you've been at work all day, um, still managing to balance life and everything else um, outside of the gym. So you at least owe it to yourself. And when you go to the gym, you need to make it count because you know what's going to speak is whenever you perform on the platform. So at the end of the day, whatever you do on the platform reflects the work that you put in before. So let's not make any excuses. Let's get in there and get it. Um, especially during the holidays, guys, let's make sure, you know, the new years, let's make sure we're getting in there, we're sticking to it and uh, we're giving it all we got. Um, and uh, cut out the noise, cut out the noise, all the extra talking in the background, cut out the toxic people in your life. Be irregular. Let's get it.